Good morning. Hello. So a few weeks ago, I told you about this cork and where it originated and where it came from. If you remember that, you will remember that this is from the night that we got engaged in 2012. Wow. <laughs> so today we are going to go through our engagement story and it's not just a quick five minute somebody got down on one knee and proposed. Brittany planned this extravagant full day Christmas Eve adventure for me seven years ago. And now we get to go back through it and I can't wait. Just that, like <laughs> reminiscing on all of it. For those of you that don't know, I'm Ashley. I'm Brittany. We have been married for less than a year, but we've been together for almost 13. We were engaged for seven. Six, seven. Six and a half? Six. Uh, like <laughs> six and a half years, yeah. We are 27 weeks pregnant. Here, that belly. Ooh. 27 weeks. Anyways, I'm really excited to take you on our engagement story today. Yes, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and just more videos of us our becoming life. moms in our life. To our first stop which is Franklin Park Conservatory. If you're not familiar it's just like a big plant conservatory. space. It's yeah. amazing and there's so many pretty things here. Right now there's actually a glass exhibit which makes it even cooler. It's one of my favorites, Chihuly, so But you I can love go through them. different climates to see different types of plants. So it's just really cool and they decorate it really pretty for Christmas. So we are going to tell you that when this actually happened it was on Christmas Eve because Christmas has always been my favorite holiday and everybody knows that. But she just told me I had special Christmas Eve plans because we weren't going to be able to do it on Christmas. We had other plans. And so I just, you know, played it off. We're just going for this special day because Christmas means so much to you. I've never felt like this. What are you doing to me? Up there. Whoa. That's super cool. That's crazy. It's your favorite. And now we're heading into the desert. desert. Just kidding. I'm <laughs> not gonna try to play that game. This one's not bad though. No, cause I just have to know. Are you having fun? Mm -hmm. I like it here. It's so cool. Is it making you reminisce on all yeah, of Yeah, because like... we haven't been here, I don't think, since. I, we've been to the outside part, but not like in here. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Make you wanna run, run away with me. Do I run make your friends here? Frosty. <laughs> Frosty, Frosty. And, and siblings. Frosty. <laughs> I love the way they have this decorated for Christmas, especially this room because it's just full of poinsettias and snowmen and greenery and it's so pretty. It's so crazy to just be here and thinking about all this and taking it all in again. Mm -hmm. Next we are heading to lunch. This is like our old stomping ground. So we're going somewhere that we used to go all the all time. All the time. Yeah. It was our hangout. We would go from where we used to live. We would walk down there, bike, bike down, down there. Have a couple drinks. Usually have a couple drinks. And then, you know, stumble our way, our way home. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. I mean, this is years and years ago yeah. since we've been down here. Like you don't need anyone to make you want to How is it revisiting our old stomping grounds? I like this restaurant. It's like a full day of reminiscing. Just be wild and free. Do I really make yeah, we used to know everyone that worked here. We knew all the bartenders, a lot of the servers. We knew the management. They'd like to bring us free stuff all the time. Yeah, we were. Like you don't need anyone. It's really crazy to think we just told you how like we used to know all the people that worked here. Around the corner comes who used to be like our favorite bartender, then he moved up, he was serving all the stuff, he's manager now, and he was actually here on this day. <laughs> like, what a small world. Crazy, crazy time. I didn't even know he still worked here. I came in thinking that like all of our people were gone. So it's really cool that on the day that we're going back and reminiscing about our engagement, we also get to reminisce about our old hangout and our old people. Yeah. It's been a really cool day. It's been so special. Yeah, I, I'm like, I'm cheesing. It's really made my day. Cause all I need is you. Oh, 
we just made it home from lunch and the next part of the day was actually it was interwoven throughout the day at the time. I don't know, it was, it was supposed to be every hour. Because we were busy, it didn't quite work out It didn't that way. quite work exactly that way because we weren't like in a place where I had the next thing with us. Basically what she did is she gathered pictures from all of like the different fun experiences we had had in the years prior in our relationship. And she put them in frames and she wrapped each one separately. And like she said, she gave me different frames throughout the day and I would open them and then we'd get to reminisce about that all time. the fun things we've done. So I had done like workups that I still have <laughs> of like laying out all the pictures, what wall they were gonna go in. This again was in our old house. And so I had said our, before that I wanted to hang up pictures. Yeah, that she wanted pictures. So I had already like mapped out like how they were going to go on the wall, where they were going to go, <laughs> so then she could unwrap it, we could talk about it, reminisce, and then they would hang go it. ahead and hang it up all throughout the day. But we're going to go through some of them and just talk about them because we haven't looked at them in a while. We haven't hung them up since we moved to our house from our condo. They've kind of been sitting in a closet, which is sad, but... But now we get to look at them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they are so little. This is a picture of our dogs when they were younger. When we... We found Nadia basically under our porch in the middle of the winter one day. She was like four weeks old and tiny. Oh, so you got it. Yeah. yeah. It's easier for you to get up for me. Yeah. Don't put your knees on the picture. I got it. I got it. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. She was so little. Both of them are, um, both not of them are so young. They're not gray. They, all, they both have really gray faces now. They're so cute, but they're old. What else? I'm sure there's a lot of the dogs in here. A lot of the dogs. So we used to put them in a Halloween costume contest every year, and we would make their costumes. So hold on, we gotta start with this one because this one was before. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so the first year we did it, we only had Rosie the first. We year. only had Rosie, yeah. So so that's me and Rosie as a rooster. Rosie is a rooster and her is a farmer. I was also a farmer. Rosie's nickname since then has been Rosie the Rooster, so I call her just Rooster all the time. And then, so we did like, it was like a contest every year. We won two we years, won two years in a row. Not when she was a rooster, but for this one we won. For this one, we had both of them and they were cowgirls. Oh my gosh. Nadia on the bottom, look at her chaps. And then Rosie yeah. has a skirt. It was so cute. Everybody liked that one. Snowboarding. There's a couple of us snowboarding. Oh. For those of you that haven't heard, Brittany Tom had a snowboard at what used to be an Experts Only Mountain. Bad. Go me! Bad, Bad choice. choice. Bad choice. There's some more of those. Yeah, this one. Oh, but I got distracted by this one. So, do you guys remember that show called like Extreme Home Makeover or Extreme Makeover Home Edition? Yes. They had that here in Columbus at one point and we volunteered to go and help. So at the time we had a like painting and painting business. So that is on this side here. That's the house that we helped with. And then this side is Brittany has always wanted to be Mario and Luigi for Halloween. So we've got Mario. So and we Luigi. dressed up as Mario and Luigi. We don't even dress up that often, but no, not that was so fun. There's a couple in here from Disney too. So this is a picture of the castle at Disney World. I am a huge, huge, huge Disney fan. So us getting to go to Disney together was a big deal for me. You probably saw my haircut at one point in time in one of the other videos. If you haven't, you should probably check that out. What video was that in? Oh, it was the um, Would You Rather video. So Would You Rather. Would you rather. Oh, it was. Yeah, the bad hair. So we'll like the Would You Rather video right here. She buzzed her head. It was a bad decision. Poor, poor choices. She buzzed it. Now you're going to show them. Yeah, so this one, this picture is actually not horrible of me, though. But then, hold on, we gotta get the other one from Disney. This one! This is Ashley's favorite picture. It's a bad picture of both of us, to be honest. <laughs> oh, yeah, it just, man, we were rocking the styles then. Oh, no. Yikes, guys, yikes. What else oh, do we have? Gosh, then there's this one of Nadia. This is again when we used to go to the, dog the park. dark dog park all the time. But oh my goodness. And there's one, a big one of Rosie too. This was before they had any kind of gray hair. It's going to be so hard for the kid. I know. These were been our babies. She was talking about snowboarding. But I saw this little picture. 
from when we were actually out snowboarding. She looks it's like she was having a good time. It's not that I dislike it. It just, you know. I should have taught you, like, in somewhere a while. else. Hmm. Instead of on this massive, massive mountain. Yeah, it was poor decision. This is the place we're talking about that I taught her. It's my favorite. She likes Disney. This is, like, my place. <laughs> so we didn't go through all of them, but it's fun to look back over. It's so cute. Some of our younger years, like, much. Younger years. Yeah. So the next thing Brittany surprised me with was two of my favorite things around the holidays. Cookies, which is great all year round, right? And Christmas lights. So she found this really cool drive through Christmas light display. Since it's cold out, we live in Ohio, it's like, I don't know, 20 degrees or something. But you can just get in your cart and you drive through and there's these crazy displays of different Christmas lights. So she, we did that and then she made me homemade cookies and hot chocolate to take along with us. Originally when I did this and I made hot chocolate, I used a peppermint hot chocolate mix, which happened to have milk in it. And I thought, you know, it's okay, it'll be cute, it'll be really nice, I can get away with it. However, that wasn't the case. I did end up getting sick the night of our engagement. So this time being a little bit smarter, and I'm just gonna use some coconut oil. We've got just a chocolate chip, a double chocolate, and then a cranberry cookie. I think Ashley's favorite is going to be this double chocolate. She's right. I think mine's going to be the cranberry, but we'll see. She's right. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of cookie? We are just going to wait for those cookies to cool, and then we are going to head out to go to the lights. However, on the actual night, I just made the cookies, I made the hot chocolate, and I told her she's gotta get in the car and come with me. I had no idea it was happening. Oh, so tell me, girl, cause I'm We're here. Now we are going to drive through. Enjoy our cookies if you can see. Cookies. Hot and chocolate. Hot chocolate. And just enjoy a sweet evening. It's actually three miles, so it takes quite a while to get there, but it's really totally wanna like, know. It's a lot of fun. There we go. Hanukkah. Yay. Happy Hanukkah be. Yes. I was actually raised celebrating both Hanukkah and Christmas because my dad was raised Jewish. Really this little section has like a theme to it. So this one is, you can see the 12 days of Christmas. So I'm sure all the lights will kind of correspond with the song. As these lights come to an end, what Ashley doesn't know is we have another surprise in the store. This is what? something we didn't do <laughs> for our engagement, but I wanted to add a little surprise in. For what the is it? We're actually going to a different light show that is also a drive-through. Where? Up in a different area. I did not know about this. <laughs> so this is not something we did on our engagement. No, she's just the cutest thing ever. But I thought it'd be nice to throw in a little extra surprise for the evening, so now we've got to go find the next place. <laughs> she's the sweetest. This one's a little different is that it has music that it goes along to, but we unfortunately can't play the music because we can't put music on YouTube. Copyright but it's lost. super cool. Because all I need is you. So that was the end of our Christmas light adventure. Thank you for surprising me with those last ones. You're welcome. Those are fun though because they all played to music. Yeah, they like danced to the beat of the music and the twinkled and yeah, it was yeah, super it was cool. cool. So we are on our way back home now. I have a couple more things to tell you about our special day because if you're paying attention, she hasn't actually done any of the proposing yet. What? I haven't? <laughs> <laughs> what happened next? <laughs> well, I told you we weren't 
quite done yet. Not quite. And then I told you to go upstairs and there are some new PJs you need to put on. Yeah, I gotta go put on my PJs. And then the best is yet to come. The surprise. As Ashley was upstairs changing, I then found a nice little spot on the tree to place her ring. You guys can't even see it on here. There we go. She comes down. We'll see if she can find it. Did you hide it? As she came back down, I hid the ring in the tree, as you guys saw. But she didn't tell me that it was hanging. She didn't know there was a ring, period. Right, 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 right. But she just said, there's one last surprise for you hanging on the Christmas tree. Yes. So yeah. remember, we were, this was all happening on Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. So I was just playing the whole thing off like it was an early Christmas celebration, since we had some other plans for Christmas. So I did hide it again, and now you've got to find it. Of course you did. I don't like this. My finger feels so naked. on like a red string or something. Yeah, so find by a red string maybe. Oh, here we go. I found it. And then I, of course, was like so surprised. And this girl is, of course, down on one knee again. So I want to ask you something. Can you come a little bit closer? <laughs> Can I see your hand? Ashley Bolt. <laughs> You still want to be married to me for the rest of your life, for <laughs> yes, the rest I... of my life, till death do us part? Yes, I do. <laughs> and that is how it happened. It was so nice because she planned this entire day and I had no idea throughout the whole day. She didn't seem nervous. I wasn't nervous. It's interesting because I'm not really, I wasn't used to holidays and it wasn't like a big thing for a holiday, mm -hmm. but they were so special and important to Ashley. That I, I just have such good memories growing up of like celebrating all of the holidays, so. And I knew like in my head I had known for a long time that when I proposed, like when it was going to be and really? like what time of year, yeah. Because it was yeah. just like so important to her. And I figured this was perfect because again, I could play it off as just like an early Christmas thing and she wouldn't have like it. It was just She finally had some holiday spirit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it left for a while after that year, but you know. <laughs> but it was a really, really special day and I look back on it all the time now and it's just so cool to think like she had this entire day planned. It wasn't just like this five minute period of time that she thought about and so I have a question I don't know that we've ever really talked about this did you know like going through the did day I have did, any you, idea? did you have any idea what was going on I didn't know that it was happening that day like I didn't put two and two together but you had asked me about rings yeah. like what I wanted <laughs> in a ring and yeah. so I knew like it was probably coming yeah. but I didn't know so I did have a her ring custom made yeah it's very very special one of a kind it is and it's got a lot of meaning to it, like how the band is. It's and got the, the infinity symbol on both sides. The stone has a lot of meaning, all of it, all of it. Yeah, she did a really good job with it. So. You're the well. best. I hope you guys enjoyed our engagement story. I don't know. That, yeah, many people don't really know what no, happened. they don't know. It was just between us. So this is super special for us, too. And it was fun to kind of go back go through, through everything. Go through, yeah. That, it's and nice I to think about. couldn't be happier. Me neither. It took you long enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we will say it took us six years after I did this for us to actually get married. <laughs> We already, like, lived together and everything. Yeah. So. <laughs> and a little bit emotional and flustered here. Well, we really appreciate you guys coming with us. It was really fun to do this and share it with you guys. Thank you for all your support and continuing to watch our videos. We will see you guys in our next vlog. Bye.